1-392-3000 or visit whitehallboca.com. Thank you for listening to Babes in Business. I am your number one babe in business, your host, Michelle Dempsey of Very Well Written, the business I founded to help other entrepreneurs get their businesses off the ground with great content, strategy, branding, social media, editing, and anything in the way of words. I've got you covered, www.michelledempsey.com, or you can call me at 305-469-7500. Don't forget to tune in every Tuesday night at seven o'clock to join me and a fellow babe in business. Talk all things business. Can't wait to see you there. Get your life back from musculoskeletal injuries faster and without surgery. At Pain Care Specialists of Florida, Dr. Luis Escobar can help you do just that with regenerative treatments of platelet-rich plasma and stem cells. Stem cells live in all of us and act like the repairmen of the body. However, during injuries, we sometimes can't get enough of these critical repair cells to the injured area. This is where Dr. Luis Escobar may help you by harvesting your own stem cells and re-injecting them into the injured area in need of repair. To find out if you are a candidate for regenerative treatments with platelet-rich plasma or stem cells, please contact Dr. Luis Escobar at 954-322-8586 to make an appointment at one of his three conveniently located offices in Hollywood, Pembroke Pines, and Aventura. Or visit us on the web, www.painconsults.com. Com. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Medicine continues to change every day, and the doctors responsible for this are now doing what they can to share this information and news. Introducing Regenerative Medicine with Dr. Escobar, a new approach to pain management here in Florida. Dr. Escobar is board certified by the American Board of Anesthesiology, the American Board of Pain Medicine and diplomat of the American Academy of Pain Management. He has been practicing in the area for over 15 years. He has lectured in the community as well as mass media on various topics in pain management. As a leading provider of interventional pain management in Aventura, Pembroke Pines, and Hollywood, Dr. Escobar works hard at treating the source of your pain with the goal of restoring you to full function in your normal life and activities. If you wish to join the conversation or have a question, please call 888-565-1470 and talk with Dr. Escobar. Now, here is Dr. Escobar and today's show. Good evening, listeners. Welcome back to the Regenerative Medicine Show. Got pain, avoid sur- surgery with PRP, stem cell therapy with Dr. Luis Escobar. Good evening, Dr. Escobar. How are you today? Good evening, Norma. Thanks for having me again. It's so nice to see you again. Well, I'm your host, Norma Guerrero, and you can listen live tonight at 1470 AM radio, at iHeartRadio app, 1470 WNN, at WWNNradio.com, and you can watch us live streaming on Facebook at AMP, number two, AMP, AMP number two TV Productions on Facebook, so you can watch us live tonight. And if you'd like to call in with any questions, you can reach us at 888-565-1470. Dr. Escobar has three offices located at in Aventura, Hollywood, and Pembroke Pines. The name of his office is Pain Care Specialist of Florida. His office number is 954-322-8586. His office is bilingual. And his website is www.painconsults.com. And he can be found on Facebook at Pain Care Specialist of Florida. And I'm so looking forward to tonight to talking about this wonderful treatment and procedure that you now have at your office called PRP and stem cell therapy. Can you tell us about what that is, Dr. Escobar, and how can you help us with our pain today? Sure, it would be a pleasure. Uh, well, the treatment is very simple. Uh, you know, it, what we do with this is trying to uh, get the body to do is a normal job a lot better and a lot faster. Uh, the, uh, the, the, our own bodies respond to injury by activating uh, different cells uh, through different mechanisms to promote the healing. You know, whenever we have any injury, any cuts, anything that ruptures inside, uh, all these cells are activated. In some cases, uh, the, the cells are not enough to uh, heal the injury. 
So this is where we come in with these uh, treatments. Uh, and we harvest uh, cells from patients, uh, our own cells, uh, either th- through the uh, circulating blood uh, where the platelets uh, circulate. Uh, we take out some of the patient's blood, process it via centrifuge, uh, and separate the different cells. Yes. We harvest, keep the, the platelets uh, together with some plasma. There was the name uh, platelet-rich plasma comes from the PRP. Uh, and uh, save it and inject it into the injured area to help regenerate the tissues. Yes. Uh, when the injury is uh, more severe, then the platelets and the uh, platelet rich plasma may not be enough, even. So, in that particular case, we go and retrieve some stem cells, mm-hmm. either from bone marrow or from uh, adipose tissue from the same patient again. Uh, process that blood uh, cent- by centrifuge and special uh, uh, mechanisms. And after we have those cells, mix them again with the platelet-rich plasma and inject them directly into the injured tissues. And this is very important because we have to put the cells in, in within the injured tissue to help them regenerate mm-hmm. uh, and become part of this tissue to, to promote the healing process. This is accomplished by precise injections via fluoroscopy and ultrasonography. Uh, by that, we mean that we actually see in the injured tissues uh, in advanced needles to the area and deposit the cells in that particular area. That's very, very interesting. And many of you out there may be saying to yourself, what did he just say? You know, what is PRP? What is stem cell therapy? And I know that he explained it to us. And you may be saying to yourself more, why would I need this? And so you may want to ask yourself a few of these questions. Are you suffering with shoulder, back, neck, and neck or knee pain? Are you tired of taking pain meds and don't like the way they make you feel? Are cortisone steroid shots not working and you know they are not good for you? Are you frustrated with lost time from work, from from going to therapy, or is your doctor telling you may need surgery? So these are the types of questions that you may be asking yourself that that's why I would want to look into what PRP and what stem cell therapy is. Now, Dr. Escobar, is PRP and stem cell therapy, is that covered by by someone's insurance? Uh, Unfortunately, it is not normal. It's uh, at this uh, day and age, the insurance companies are not covering for these treatments. Uh, and uh, that's unfortunate because the, the results are fantastic. Uh, when you take into account the structure of the uh, insurance companies nowadays uh-huh. with your deductibles and co-pays, uh, the treatments have been quite affordable, uh, taking into account that uh, it, it's going to be, in most instances, cheaper than your co-insurances and, and deductibles. And the time that you're going to save uh, by in money you're going to save by going back to work and do your normal activities a lot faster uh, through the regenerative uh, healing process. So it's, it's almost as if like if I have something that potentially could be treated with PRP stem cell therapy and that's going to cost me some money but if I were to go and get surgery for something that I maybe didn't have to go get surgery for to correct but I have to take into account all the expenses that have incurred of taking off of work, of the deductibles for going to surgery, the the hospital bills, all those things. So in a sense, although it seems like a lot up front, but over the course of many months of recovery from surgery, that could end up costing you more in the long run. Correct. Is that kind of like what you're trying to say? I could have put it better myself. Yeah, I mean, I, it's I, almost like you have to, sometimes when I look at expenses, you know, what's it going to cost me a month? versus just what's the grand total because the way you 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 have to look at money is what's what's the grand expense because it's going to cost you the same in the end you know it's going to cost you a lot less because as you mentioned you're talking money expense you're talking time expense and pain and suffering expense and there's also a lot of risk with surgeries Indeed, there's uh, always the risk, is it going to work, is it not going to work? And you still have to go through all the recoveries, uh, therapy, and Mm -hmm. more pain medication, perhaps, with all the risk of doing this. So then let's talk about who would be a good candidate for stem cell therapy or platelet-rich plasma. 
What types of patients are you seeing in your office that you have found to be a good candidate for this treatment? Well, we can subdivide the uh, good candidates for this type of treatment into the acute and the chronic uh, uh, patients. Uh, and both subsets are amenable to these uh, uh, treatments. Uh, we have the, on the acute uh, injuries, we have uh, tendons, uh, uh, muscles. We have all the soft tissues in the, in the joints. The spine, so uh, like a bursitis, tendonitis, bursitis, a sprain. And tendonitis, uh, more in sprains. Those those tend to respond to, to more conservative treatments. Uh, when the injuries do not respond, such as uh, tears, in, uh, which is more than a sprain or a strain, uh, tears and ruptures of different uh, structures. Uh, as well as degenerative uh, diseases such as osteoarthritis mm -hmm. uh, in the joints uh, in, in, in or in the spine. I mean, all these uh, uh, patients are amenable to these treatments to either uh, speed up the recovery of the injuries or to stop and even regenerate the degenerative uh, diseases such as osteoarthritis. Well, that makes sense now. Now, because if you think about it, if you have bursitis or tendonitis, you don't necessarily have to go to surgery. So that's not necess not to say that the only people that need this type of treatment or that would benefit are people that are surgical candidates. But certainly, you know, you sprain yourself, throwing the softball around or the football around, it'll probably heal, like you said, conservatively, some ice, rest, maybe an anti-inflammatory. But those, those injuries that are more like a rotator cuff tear or a meniscus tear or... Um, uh, lumbar, uh, what's, what are some of the lumbar injuries that are out there that people can, when they injure their back and their, right. uh, what is it, sciatica? We have, well, sciatica is, is a symptom, but we do have the herniated disc. We have discogenic pain. We have uh, pain that emanates from the joints in the back as well. I mean, which are not different than any other joints in the body. It may develop uh, uh, just inflammation of those joints. It may develop uh, arthritis of those joints, and those uh, uh, patients are amenable to these treatments as well. Uh, you mentioned the, the tendonitis. Some tendonitis does not heal very well, you know, when you have repetitive uh, 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 type of injury, and those patients may benefit as well from uh, stem cell and, and platelet rich plasma. And what's the difference between um, tendonitis and... Um What's the word, the other word I want? Well, it's, describe to me what tendonitis is. Well, I, itis uh, refers to inflammation. So tendonitis will be inflammation of the tendons. Uh, in more advanced injury may be degeneration of the tendon or rupture of that tendon. So uh, one may progress if tendonitis does not respond to, to, to traditional uh, treatments uh, such as rest and anti-inflammatories, icing and physical therapy. Uh, in the repetitive uh, uh, mechanism of injury continues, that may develop into a rupture as well. And what uh, is the role else. of a tendon? What is the mechanical role of the tendon? Well, the tendon has uh, different functions, more uh, stability of, uh, uh, on the joints uh, in certain motions as well. The muscle uh, attaches to the tendon, the tendon attaches to the bone. So, so uh, a tendon attaches as you have a muscle fiber... That at the end of the muscle fiber, you have a tendon, a tendon that attaches. and that a tendon attaches to the bone. So Correct. when you've strained yourself, sometimes the tendon can get inflamed, and that's what they call tendonitis. That is correct. But when you have, you can, you can tear a tendon, you, you, you can, can tear, tear a tendon. A tendon yes. But then when you have a ligament tear, like a rotator cuff, when you when you tear a rotator cuff, are you, are you tearing the muscle fibers, are you tearing the ligament, or the tendon? Well, it, it, the rotator cuff is is a, is a very unique structure that is combi uh, a combination of five different tendons and muscles that form the cuff. And, and people refer to it as the rotator cuff. Somebody come and tell you, oh, I, I tore my, my, my rotator cuff. Mm -hmm. It could be any five of different tendons or muscles. There's many uh, grades to it. Correct. So in five different uh, uh, structures, per se, that can be injured, and any of them could be amenable to the, uh, this type of treatment. Well, I'm going to take a little break right now because I'd like to kind of get a little bit more into the different injuries that people I know out there are walking around with. They're suffering with pain. They're wondering, what am I going to do to get better? And so when we come back, we're going to talk about a few more injuries. You're listening to the 
Regenerative Medicine Show Got Pain and Avoid Surgery with PRP Platelet Rich Plasma and Stem Cell Therapy with Dr. Luis Escobar. He's an anesthesiologist located in Aventura, Hollywood, and Pembroke Pines at Pain Care Specialist of Florida, and he can be found at 954 322 8586. We'll be right back. Get your life back from musculoskeletal injuries faster and without surgery. At Pain Care Specialist of Florida, Dr. Luis Escobar can help you do just that with regenerative treatments of platelet-rich plasma and stem cells. Stem cells live in all of us and act like the repairmen of the body. However, during injuries, we sometimes can't get enough of these critical repair cells to the injured area. This is where Dr. Luis Escobar may help you by harvesting your own stem cells and re-injecting them into the injured area in need of repair. To find out if you are a candidate for regenerative treatments with platelet-rich plasma or stem cells, please contact Dr. Luis Escobar at 954-322-8586 to make an appointment at one of his three conveniently located offices in Hollywood, Pembroke Pines, and Aventura. Or visit us on the web www.painconsults.com You are listening to Regenerative Medicine with Dr. Escobar and if you wish to ask a question or participate in the show call 888-565-1470 and speak to the doctor Now, back to the show Welcome back, listeners. Thank you so much. You're listening to the Regenerative Medicine Show. Got pain, avoid surgery with PRP, platelet-rich plasma, and stem cell therapy with Dr. Luis Escobar. And let me take a moment now to highlight Dr. Luis Escobar and let you know who he is. He is an anesthesiologist and pain management doctor. He is board certified by the American Board of Anesthesiology, the American Board of Pain Medicine, and diplomat of the American Academy of Pain Management. And he's been practicing here in South Florida for over 15 years. And we're very happy to have him here with us. And he is doing this amazing treatment that is very specialized and very skilled where you take your own platelets out of your own body where they draw blood from you and they run them through a centrifuge and then they re-inject them along with stem cells, if necessary, that are taken out of your adipose tissue and re-inject it into your pain site to help slow healing or poor healing injuries to the soft tissues of your body. Some of those injuries may be rotator cuff injuries, um, ACL, anterior cruciate ligament, knee injuries, herniated discs, sciatica. Do any of these injuries sound like something that you may have and that you're just wondering, how do I, how do I resolve this problem? How do I live without pain? So this is an amazing treatment that we want to talk to Dr. Escobar a little bit more about. And again, his offices are located in Aventura, Hollywood, and Pembroke Pines at 954-322-8586. Now, Dr. Escobar, what is the difference between a PRP stem cell therapy and a steroid injection? Well, uh, steroid is... Uh, substance that is basically naturally occurring in our own bodies. And uh, we, uh, they're, they're used in the lab. Uh, we isolate what is called the corticosteroid. Uh, the corticosteroid main characteristic, what we use it for, is the anti-inflammatory. As an anti-inflammatory. Correct. But is uh, through its metabolism, has other functions, very uh, various functions. So... When we use a steroid, we have the desired anti-inflammatory effect, but we also have all the undesirable effects, such as fluid retention. Uh, fluid retention? Correct. I mean, uh, the, the metabolism of a steroid uh, goes, if you start with the cholesterol, cholesterol transforms into different uh, steroids, the steroids transform into different hormones in the body. Well, I think if you were to, if, just let me stop there for a moment. If... I've seen patients with um, COPD, with chronic obstructive pulmonary um, disease. I know when those patients have taken steroids to get their breathing under control, you do see that they kind of inflame a little bit. They get a little puffy. And so is that what you mean by fluid retention uh, a little it, bit? It, it, to a certain degree. I mean, uh, by the time you see those, as we call, call the Cushinoid uh, reaction, and that is an exaggerated uh, uh, retention of fluid and it causes a lot of other changes in the body. Because uh, a lot of hormone changes in the body. Uh, just to give an idea, a female may develop a little fine uh, 
uh, growth of hair in the face or in the arms because some of the uh, uh, steroids convert into male hormones. Uh, same thing can happen with the uh, menses. I mean, it may alter the menses, may alter... Okay, the uh, menstrual system. Correct. It may alter the mood uh, temporarily because uh, it has a stimulant effect. Uh, a lot of my patients, female patients, complain that their husbands get angry when they get steroids and the male uh, patients, uh, 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 husbands complain that the women, when they get uh, steroids, uh, get quite moody. Or premenstruals, if you will, although my wife says that that, that doesn't sure, exist. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Now, so, um, steroids can also cause some deterioration to the joint structures. Uh, it may. Per- I know that it can cause some. You know, it can. It can. It, you know, it's helpful in the right place, but it, it, these are chronic steroids, injuries. Different type of steroids, especially when you're injecting them into the joints. Uh, the uh, steroids that we use. Uh, uh, we like to use the, the long-acting steroids, which okay. has a depot, it is an emulsion. And those steroids may cause what we call crystals, and they tend to sell in into the joints, and in the long run, yeah, they may cause degenerative changes and damage to the cartilage. Uh, so all this doesn't happen with uh, our own natural... And that's what I find so fascinating about the PRP and stem cell, that is that it's... It's coming from your own body. It's a natural. You were, you've mentioned before in the past that when you have an injury, the body naturally calls on stem cells to that area. That is correct. It calls, Explain to me that process because that's that's incredible. It calls for both the first line of action, especially if you have anything that is bleeding. Uh, we call all the components that will cause uh, the, the bleeding to stop. Uh, one of the the, the, the biggest uh, uh, actors in this uh, uh, role is is the uh, platelets. Platelets okay. go to the injured area, and one of the first functions is to stop the bleeding. But once they have uh, uh, done this this part, then they bring a lot of other uh, uh, chemicals into the area. Uh, we'll call growth factors, such as cytokines. Uh, interleukin, interference, and all this uh, come to the area to start the healing process. From the moment we injure ourselves, that's the very moment that the healing process commences. So I just had a visual in my head. If you think about getting into a car accident, when you get into a car accident, what happens? Sometimes the people that are around the car accident, they come to the first line of defense. Then the police may show up or the paramedics the firemen and so basically what you're saying is that in our bodies when we get in, injured all of those types of things naturally happen in the body where all these things come to our rescue to begin to heal that injured area that's correct but would you play- say so in the playlist come first and then the uh, the platelets dif- come first so they're okay the different signaling uh they uh, through chemical uh, signals they attract other cells uh, including the uh, chemicals and the stem cells. And the stem cells come from afar uh, to promote the, the, the So healing. that's what the body does naturally. So sometimes that whole process of rescue is delayed and so or slowed down. And so the PRP and stem cell is a regenerative type of boost into that injured area to help heal it better and faster? It, it, it is. Uh, it's not that it slows down. It may not be sufficient for the type of injury. Just not sufficient. Right. And in that case, we just kind of like multiply the response by harvesting the cells from a different area and bringing them to the injury area. So the cells that cannot travel by themselves, we actually bring them in there. And we're talking millions of cells, many, many So it's almost like cells. you do like a helicopter airdrop right into the area basically of rescue kind of like you send the whole fleet you send uh, the whole fleet and <laughs> so well that's really that's incredible and so i hope that you listeners out there that you got a, a little bit understanding of exactly how this procedure works in your body on a on a that's, that's the word i want to say on a not on a chemical level but on a uh, uh practical level on a practical level mm-hmm. but it, you know how those those um platelets and stem cells are just they're, they're just wonderful natural um, he, they have natural healing aid agents in our body. And so, Dr. Escobar, I want to thank you again for coming in. We unfortunately have run out of time for the evening, and I know you'll be back next week to talk about um, this procedure again so you can continue to educate the community about 
what what's available at your office. Again, Dr. Escobar's offices are pain care specialists of Florida. He has three offices in Aventura, Pembroke Pines, and Hollywood. His office number is 954-322-8586. Please give Dr. Escobar a call and find out if you're a candidate, if you if he can he can assess you and determine whether or not this procedure would be helpful for you to help you get out of that pain that you've been living with. You're listening to the Regenerative Medicine Show, Got Pain, Avoid Surgery with PRP, Platelet-Rich Plasma, and Stem Cell Therapy with Dr. Luis Escobar. I'm your host, Norma Guerrero. See you next week. Have a good evening. You have been listening to Regenerative Medicine with Dr. Escobar. Join us every week for more information and news on achieving full function in your normal life and normal activities. Call Dr. Escobar for more information at 954-322-8586. See you next week on Regenerative Medicine with Dr. Escobar. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors.